The tray. Let's just finish this shit off. Yep. So you you having fun watching this game? Does it make I'm you want to play it? I'm having more fun than you are. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm probably not. Surprised. I don't know. I, I play, like I said, I played it. It's not the worst game ever. It's just it's incredibly mediocre, and mm. it's I found the combat super clunky. I not uh, not super clunky, just. Bouncing between things just it didn't flow. Quite doesn't right. really. It's just because, like the gap closes. <laughs> look, at, look, at looks... look at their family fucking SUV. I don't know the gap closes are not the best, so it makes like going between enemies a bit clunky. Like you got to use the grappling hook, but because of the delay in using and going to it, it's a bit. Why does Virgil have a gun? Because he doesn't want. He... It's it's all right, as far as Mundus knows, he's a regular person, I guess. No, Doesn't no. Give it away. I don't know. Devil May Cry 3. He hates guns. This isn't Devil May Cry 3. He only uses a gun at the end because he's like, fine, let's do things your way. Like. But he still is just all about melee. He's all about honor, like Bushido. Like. This isn't Devil May Cry 3. Yeah, well. Maybe it should be more like it. Maybe, maybe. it should be, you know, good. Is he? Is not even out of the car. He's just standing out like the the sunroof. Well, because he's a cruel guy. <laughs> That's not cool. It looks fucking horrible. He he looks like an armored vehicle now. He's got the uh, gun on gun mount on top, except uh, the mount is him. <laughs> it's also harder to get back into the driver's seat from that. Angle. Uh, well, except for somehow this this uh, this car's sunroof is the entire fucking roof, so I don't know where it retracts to. So I guess it doesn't. Demon technology. Oh, not just one gun, but two. Oh, Ebony and Ivory. And they're the same fucking colour in this light. Yeah, they really aren't yeah. quite as distinguished, but, yeah. Yeah. Go on. Go on, Stitch Bitch. You can oh, be my fourth child. Varicose veins I and everything. will call you Stitch Face. <laughs> It would have been, uh, it seems like the perfect time for Harmony you would have been my third child joke, but trying to cram both of them together would have been, uh... Yeah. Um, we have three children! Marge, the dog doesn't <laughs> count! <laughs> no. Maggie! Oh yeah, right. Yeah, uh -huh. I'd imagine this- It's just who the heck is Margaret Simpson? <laughs> I'd imagine this is supposed to feel tense, but it doesn't at all. Uh, uh, who's he gonna shoot? In the butt. In the butt! Or not. Why did he look so shocked when he did Fuck. that? Maybe it was just oh. a Sniper rifle abortion! Should have left her alive. She still could have been a human shield ish. Damn! That's ice cold! Yeah. Hey, you sound almost impressed by Virgil. Ah. By Fedora Neckbeard. <laughs> that was like a Fedora Neckbeard too edgy for me kind of thing. No, it definitely wasn't white knighting. Like, especially giving her, like, those few seconds to realize what he'd done before shooting her in the head. Like, yeah. Is Mundus gonna come out now? All of a sudden, Mundus looks like not the villain. His baby just got killed. Yeah. Like, I don't know, this I kind mean, of blurred the baby, lines. But... I had to. Yeah. You don't. Oh, I suppose, because, you know, even if they kill Mundus, the baby's still going to be alive. Mm. So, you, I mean, may as well, you know, leave leave no loose ends. Yeah, may as well. Yeah. I mean, it, it's... He's definitely not honoring Bushido. From a this. pragmatic point of view, no. it makes sense. So does everything psychopaths do. Still ice <laughs> cold. Oh, God. Limber. Why is he saying what's happening? He should know by now. Yes. What goes on whenever this why goes Why is he on. not in the car? Oh. Do I have to do more puzzles? 
I have to do more pop. Oh my god! There we go. No. Oh wait. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Ah! Oh, God. Well, good thing you had all the time in the world. Oh, to do he's that. got a big V on his car. Oh. Okay. Ooh, easy does it. Oh wait, wrong, wrong weapon. One. Wrong weapon. What did that do? Why does he just? I don't know. Down. Lift. There we uh. go. No. Three cool. Alright. Four cool, five life. <laughs> spider Nephilim, Spider <laughs> Nephilim. He even does like the Spider Man pose yeah, the... for it. As I said, actually, again, to the game's credit. Oh, for fuck's sakes! So you're saying Why is that credit? on? Why is that out of the water and on? Yeah, oh, combat! That's not. Oh no, it's in slow mo. Chalala. There we go. Let's completely ignore the combat and go straight to the platforming. That's exactly what I love in a game. When you can just totally ignore fighting stuff. Well, if it's press some button game. prop jumps and platforms. That's my perfect game. Fuck this. <laughs> it's not like do the I have to do it on the move now? Yep. No! Yeah. Again, to this game's credit, this is the best Spider-Man swinging mechanics since Spider-Man 2. Yeah, it's pretty all right. Well, all right. given Do that I the others are completely one? awful. Uh, yeah. And now there's an above-ground Queen subway train, just like Spider-Man. <laughs> to meme love Spider-Man. Who doesn't? Ah, just ignore him. Sam Raimi. <laughs> he does too. Not anymore. Well, not anymore, no. <laughs> not after that third movie. He's like, fuck oh, this. Man. Dude, so Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah not, not after that third movie. No, he was I... like, I want the Sandman. The Sandman would be awesome. I can make a good Sandman villain movie. And the hardcore, quote-unquote, fans are like, no, we want Hobgoblin to be fucking dick teasing us for two movies, man. <laughs> And then the studio's like, no, Venom sells. Put Venom in. It's like, I don't want Venom. Well, you're going to put it in. Hey, a C rank. I think that's your first. That's my worst. Yeah. That was the whole level. Yeah. Quote, unquote. <sighs> uh, yeah. And it's like, no, we want Venom. And he's like, you're going you're gonna to put Venom in. You're contracted to make a movie and you have to put Venom in. And the fans won't shut up about help, Golden. And he's like, you know what? Fuck all y'all. <laughs> I'm still putting Sandman in. He's gonna be the best part of the movie. <laughs> True. Uh, <laughs> fucking Venom's gonna be a, a, a stupid, a stupid bitch. Topher Gray. God. Who's completely useless up until that bit. He had he had the comedic timing of a Venom, but he didn't have anything else of Eddie yeah. Brock. Eddie Brock would have been could have been a, even if Sam Raimi didn't want to do Venom, he could have done like Eddie Brock as like a B story in one of the movies because he could have done a really good Eddie Brock. Sin Eater, new story, fucking bullshitter guy. Because he's fucking nuts. Like he's got a lot of damage. He's got a lot of damage. Here I am. Um, always breaking shit. God damn. Too big. Uh, and then the Hobgoblin just kind of. Me, a god. He's really sounding like. Yeah, too. It's hard to say it. Oh, I'm wiggling my fingers and <laughs> very foppish as a villain. Mm. Me, a god. Like, uh, <laughs> way too dramatic. Which that would have been how. If Platinum had to remake this actual version, that's probably how they would have made it. Would have been like a porcelain mask with me. A so, god! so you mean basically the the basically. antagonist from Bayonetta? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Or one of the bosses it. from Metal Gear. No, not Metal Gear. Uh, DMC3. Yeah. Alrighty. Yay! More platforming. Definitely the strongest part of the game. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay. That was convenient! 
At least the world's still kind of actually moving around yeah. you as you run. And now that there's, you know, fast shit, there's like a better sense of pace. Until I have to do the actual platforming, when it's like a rail shooter, it feels fast. When I actually have to move myself, it feels dumb. Alright. Oh, is that a new thing? It looks kind pretty. Of. Elite Stygian. Yeah, let's see how elite they it are. It looks like a, a demonette. You know, like the Warhammer demonettes? The Slaneshi demonettes? Uh, kind of. Very pretty and gross at the same time. Like everything's fucking Everything Slaneshi. Slaneshi. Yeah. I'm masculine and I got a. I got. I'm, I'm wired and masculine, but I got tit hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> There are some nice uh, slanesh based models these days, but they're not <laughs> worth that much fucking money. <laughs> Especially now they're made of resin. Oh, they're moving away from the resin. They want to get everything to plastic now. I can't guess they kind of realized how dumb it was. But they also just wanted to transition out of metals, because metals are like super expensive. Yeah, well, it justifies the fucking asking price, doesn't it? Rather than, like, turning him into resin and bumping up the price? Yeah. Alright. Oh, well, it was our own propri proprietary type of resin, so... Is obviously... that why it was shit? Yeah. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I can't wait for 3D printing, then we can actually pirate... Well, we got 3D printing. Well, if we I can to kind buy of one do now. it with, like... With the ones that were just, like, a whole piece with no, like, yeah. holes in them, you could resin mold them? Yeah, we can, we can fuck them. Yeah. Pirate. Pirate Warhammer, basically. Warhammer. Actually, you can still do it now anyway. You basically learn how to do resin stuff. And you just you buy one set. Yeah. Fucking uh, resin mold it. Make a break for the main entrance yeah. before it seals itself shut. You'll have a few seconds. Okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, yeah. 30, 30 seconds to get through that fight. Just. Once inside. Yeah, you just make a resin mold. Uh, you just make a mold. And then. Oh, we know its name. Cool. It's definitely, I think this is definitely the best, uh... This one's got a white mask. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Best enemy of the game so far. As far as I can tell. Yeah, you just make a little mold and then you just fill it with resin you let it sit and boom! You've got more space marines or whatever. Yeah. Or you just buy shit from China. <laughs> well, that's fucking horrible. What the? Oh, nice. Oh, okay. The one thing you don't do is buy from Games Workshop until they get their shit together. Which is probably never. <laughs> fucking shotgun. Wanna well, see it? Oh, I blocked the explosion in its chest? Fuck that guy. So far, this, these dudes are basically harder than the boss fights. Yeah, this is... There Got we him. go. They just don't have as many hit points. Yeah. <laughs> boss fights are more tedious. Huh. If we're trying to get to Mundus, why does it matter if he knows where we are? I don't know. Reasons. Basically. Texture pop in. MS DOS! Well, yeah. No. So everything, like, hacker runs. Me, Dante, <laughs> if you can. Yeah, see, he doesn't I'll care. You. you see, like. <laughs> Uh, fuck this game. Anyone who watches this series, if anyone actually ever does, um, is gonna be like, like, he cheating on the game, but he, like, he doesn't even go, like, pick up fucking extras and stuff and gets red orbs to play problem. I'm quite sure. Cause, fuck that. If I don't like the game, I'm not gonna do anything that I don't like about it. 
Don't have to do. I don't want to do any any extra work. God damn it. Yeah, it's like oh, if this you, is a shitty class with a shitty assignment. You need to do all this if you want to like the game. It's like well, if I should like the game without having to. That's not even that. It's like it's like oh, you try. You did collect shit at the at the first at the beginning. Yeah. And now you're just like fuck it. Like I, every time I see, it, I'm like ah, is uh whatever. It's like, oh man, Final Fantasy XIII's great once you get past the first, like, four hours. It's like, well, how about it should be great No, I think you have to get past, for as far as I hear, it's, it's great after halfway through the game. <laughs> Which is more than four hours. Just, I should, it shouldn't be this massive investment no, to get to the good it's like, part I, I heard that, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was really good when it came back from the mid-season break. Like, it, it got really good. <laughs> uh, Especially Why? since it tied into um, Captain America. That's what I heard, but I was like, fuck you, I gave you ten episodes to get good. Just... I know, that man. said, I gave Dollhouse more episodes than I probably should have to get good. And it did, it was worthwhile. At the end, I was like, why you did they cancel this? Cause, I know. A slow burn is kind of cool, but you can't you still has be, to be too good. slow. It's still, it's still gotta be good. Like, the thing, uh, as we've mentioned before, has a really nice slow burn, but hmm. it's an interesting one. You like seeing how it lights up and how everything kind of catalyzes. Yeah. Like, it gives you all the nice tie-ins that make you curious, like, where is this gonna yeah. go? And it makes you feel for the characters, and then... And other things like, oh no, you gotta wait for it to get good, and it's like, well, make me interested in it. Like, I have to be interested in seeing it get good first. Yeah, I'm happy for, I'm happy for a, a, a payoff at the end, like... Yeah. Floor 87. Like, if you watch, have you actually watched Pat LeBeau movies? No. They're really good. They're fu it's a fucking... It's a robot, it's a mech show, it's a mech movie, but it's all in a cop drama mashed together. That's mech shoots cool. and cop, dra cop drama. So basically drama. like the series. Hmm? Like all the other paddle bullshit. shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Alright. But there's not a lot of fighting. Most of it's like detective work. And other stuff in the middle and you get a really good fight at the end. But the characters are great. Well written. They unfold. You get to know them as the show goes as well. And the story's fucking interesting. It's got a good setup, and it follows through the whole movie, and then you get a big payoff, and that's how it should go. Oh, ninja. Tricky shit. Nah. <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he fucking counted you! There you go, you're almost getting that timing right. Yeah, almost. You gotta wait, you gotta dodge and come back with a big hit. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Their faces look like the little orbs, I just realized. Yeah, yeah. They do. Alrighty. Chaka 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 chaka. Yeah, as I was saying, it, I... Okay, I can't go through that. <laughs> Slow burn payoffs, no, wrong one. Slow burn payoffs are awesome, but they gotta be done right. Fuck Agents mm -hmm. of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> I, I, I have friends who watch it on Facebook. You probably, because it's probably the same friends that watch it on Facebook. Probably. Actually. Yeah, but I know, they're like, oh my god, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was so good this week. I'm like, but I don't care. Yeah. Also, yeah. American Horror Story, I never got into that. Uh... I've been meaning to check it out. I just remember, like, it was on, like, right before the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Ah. I was just really frustrated, because I just wanted to watch the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. It's episodic, right? They're not self-contained or anything, right? He's got... He's got God, man! Oh. Yeah, just stun off these pieces of shit. Like, it's an ongoing story, right? No, it's all, like, Final Fantasies. Like, all self-contained. Each episode. Oh, each episode continues the story, but each series is like... Oh, okay. Different, yeah. Like Final Fantasy. I like, um... God, you need... Uh... 
Fucking right, eh? Uh, oh, I got okay, away. there's a break. And then it's slow. And dash. Woo. Uh, monst uh, Masters of Horror. Yeah, that's that's what you want to watch if you want a good horror TV show. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. I've heard it's of it, never actually from watched me. it. No, from my brother as well. It's it's produced by Guillermo del Toro, yeah, okay, by the way. Surprised. I'm pretty sure my brother's talked about uh, it as well. John Carpenter does the final episode of season one, and it's nice. Uh, so it's one of the few, probably the only times I really cringe at a scene in a in a um, horror movie. Yeah, just there's this one bit, and it's not even monstrous. It's Skybridge. it's about how shitty people yeah. are, where the real monsters are, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> <laughs> where the real monsters. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so there's this one bit where something fucked up happens. I'm like, God damn. Oh, that that was. Oh. It's um. Shit. Like the whole season's pretty good. There's a few like X Files style uh horror. You don't want that. Yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> There's a few X Files style horror episodes in that like they're kind of quirky and they're a little black like, humorish monster but, of the they, week kind of things. Yeah, they're, they're still like horror. They're still it's creepy stuff and scary yeah. stuff, and but it's yeah that kind of wackiness as well. Uh, there's a few straight up slashes. They got a whole different style of genre, but then at the end of it, John Car John Carpenter sh shows up. And he's like, "All right, this is how it does," and he whips out a huge horror cock <laughs> and slaps it on the table. This is how it's done, motherfuckers, and just blows it away. That and imprint are the two best ones in the in the season, but it, it, the whole thing's worth giving a giving a watch. I haven't watched season two yet though. Breed is great, yeah, good job. Woo! Subtle! It's They Live... Yeah. ...and <laughs> Wall Street! Well, because I'm basically going through, like, a financial building, only to find, oh, it's infested with demons. It's also okay. a demon headquarters, but yeah. The obvious demon headquarters. Couldn't you just say Greed is good? Like, at least really acknowledge no. the... No the room reference. for subtlety here, Sean. No, they got a one up it. They got yep. a one up a really good movie. You ever watch Wall Street? Nope. So good. Yeah. Michael Douglas plays a douchebag, because he's good at it. And um it's great because you got Martin Sheen and Charlie Sheen playing father and son. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, okay. And it's, and Charlie Sheen has really just fucking like over the last how long? Two decades, I'd say. He's really just gone, fuck it. I'm Charlie Sheen, they hire me to be Charlie Sheen, and they keep hiring me to be Charlie Sheen, so fuck it, I'll be a caricature of myself. Tiger's well, blood, yeah. And, um, but he could actually act! He, he had a really, quite a good performance in that. I mean, standing next to his father, who's actually a fucking brilliant actor, it's, yeah. Do I remember Charlie Sheen most for? Hot shots. Such movies as Hot Shots. Hi, I'm Charlie Sheen. You might remember mm. me from such mm. films as Wall Street and Hot Shots. <laughs> well, uh, like, yeah. No movies done like fucking like Hot Shots and Naked Gun anymore. Now that I think about it. Uh, well, they had that period of the spoof movies, yeah. which were basically that, but they were god awful. Yeah. Oh, I miss that kind of movie. It was just I miss it fun. when they're good. Yeah. Not when they're made for, like, retarded teenage audiences. Scary movie. Okay, that's a way in his brother's film, and fuck you. <laughs> well, no, Scary movie... After two? Pro after three, but... Okay, after two I'll accept. <laughs> but fuck you. Wayne's brother, bitch. I'm just... I guess I'm just not... What, not the audience. You're white as shit. That's I am you're. fucking white as snow. Like, you it's... Are. No, you're, you're as white as Irish. Because you're snow. Irish. Irish snow. Yeah. As white as Irish snow. So white, it's got a green hue. <laughs> no, 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 fucking... Yeah. Sorry. Fuck you. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. Mm. 
I got a friend who thought um, the Big Lebowski was pretentious, and I was like, "Really? What a fuckhead!" It's all right. He was, <laughs> he was young, opinionated. He's still opinionated, but I think if he watched it again, yeah, he, he would go, "Oh yeah, it's actually no, it's pretty good." Like, I, I don't know how you call it pretentious when it's just oh. it's a movie. Of <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get this thing down here. It's a movie about like it's like it doesn't a movie about being unpretentious. It do, yeah, it doesn't do any, like, it doesn't try and force anything on you, it's just a self-contained noir story about a slacker stoner. I don't I first saw that movie when I was in uni, because, like, friends recommended it to me. I'm yeah. like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. And, fuck yeah, it was great. I can't remember the first time I saw it or why, but I remember it being just instantly yeah. my thing. Okay, that was kind of cool, just how it timed. Yeah. And I got uh, so fucking screwed out of that dude costume contest. Because <laughs> you look exactly like I went dude. to the Lebowski Fest, and I was one of the last two. I ended up being runner-up, I guess. And he had, like, a bunch of friends in the audience, so they cheered for him, and I'm like, Fuck you, I... Look at this dude, he's wearing board shorts, for fuck's sake. No, nah, dude doesn't wear board shorts. No, I was wearing these exact shorts I'm wearing now. Were you wearing, like, like a... Dude shorts. Were you, like, you know, no, pajama pants and, like, the fucking it's Japanese baseball shirt. It, it was too hot for, um, pajama pants. But no, I, I, had, I had on a shitty, shitty t-shirt. Mm. And I had my shitty, shitty off-white hoodie that I've made off-white, because I called it my dude hoodie. <laughs> and, uh, and sandals, man. I had my glasses, and I you knew what I should have done. When they said, asked me a question, I should have like, mind if I do a J? And pulled, <laughs> out, pulled out my fake joint. Yeah, Just that... right at the end, that would have tipped me over. <laughs> but I didn't. I pussied out. There's, um... I remember reading it's an interview screwed. with, like, Jeff Bridges and, like, half the things he wore in that movie were either from, like, his wardrobe or he borrowed from his brother. Yeah. Uh, that's... That's how you It was so good, he just wore a bunch of his own shit. Um, just keep it that casual, man. He was, he was such a dude in that, ironic, fittingly enough. It was like, in between scenes, it was like, uh, uh, like there's a scene after he drove somewhere, like, like you think on, dude would have, like, smoked a J while he was uh, driving over and then, into the car, and the car's like, yeah, probably. He's like, just starts rubbing his eyes so they go red. <laughs> Bingo. Uh, and you know what's great about it? Oh, I get it, because they're twins. Oh, that's bullshit. Yes, yes it is. You're making Laser puzzle? No, just lasers. Virgil, you must not let yourself get dragged into limbo. Or you will lose your ability to hack the servers. <laughs> well, it kind of makes sense since he's not physical Yeah, I know, anymore, but that's but just like it, fucking it's, it's poorly, B-grade. It's poorly phrased. Laser, oh, yeah, laser puzzle. puzzle! Fuck! All Pull right. out your cigarettes. <laughs> Not a hard laser puzzle. Uh, I said just before you fucked it up. Yeah! No fucking up happened. Oh, come on! Yeah, I know, <laughs> right? Thank you, Dante. No. No, I do not need Combi Christ. Like, like a... Like I said, uh, you were, um... The only way you'll sympathize with this character is the fact that you both have to go through this game together. Uh, no. Fuck these guys. Oh, no! <laughs> Fuck Combi Crash. I was tired of my lady. Yeah! I didn't even know what I did then, but it worked! Oh, I pushed him into the laser. This actually fits. No. <laughs> Just so you know, YouTube and everyone, this is in the environment. It doesn't count. <laughs> I like the fact that it goes through the mic and back through the headphones. It's really yeah, hard. it's soothing. I like it. There you go. If you have a brain.